Hi everyone, this is Who Gets the Glory, and today we're reading Streams in the Desert for February 12th. Your Heavenly Father Knows, Matthew 6, 32. A visitor at school for the deaf was writing questions on the board for the children. Soon he wrote the sentence, Why has God made me able to hear and speak and made you deaf? The shocking sentence hit children like a cruel slap in the face. They sat paralyzed, pondering the dreadful word, Why? And then a little girl arose. With her lip trembling and her eyes swimming with tears, she walked straight to the board. Picking up the chalk, she wrote with a steady hand these precious words. Yes, Father, for this is what you were pleased to do. Matthew eleven twenty six. What a reply. It reaches up and claims an eternal truth upon which the most mature believer and even the youngest child of God may securely rest. The truth that God is your Father. Can you state that truth with full assurance and faith? Once you do, your dove of faith will no longer wander the skies in restless flight, but will settle forever in its eternal resting place of peace, your Father. I still believe that a day of understanding will come for each of us, however far away it may be. We will understand as we see the tragedies that today darken and dampen the presence of heaven for us take their proper place in God's great plan. A plan so overwhelming, magnificent, and joyful, we will laugh with wonder and delight. Arthur Christopher Bacon Chance has not bought this ill to me. It's God's own hand, so let it be. For he sees what I cannot see. There is a purpose for each pain. And he one day will make it plain that earthly loss is heavenly gain. Like as a piece of tapestry viewed from the back appears to be, only threads tangled hopelessly. But in the front of a picture fair, rewards the worker for his care, proving his skill and patience rare. You are the workman, I the frame, Lord, for the glory of your name. Perfect your image on the same. Selected. Thank you for listening, and God bless you.